Hello everyone, it's Chrome Time here at Empire Chrome Shop. I'm the Chrome Man, y'all know Junior here. Today we're going to show you the proper way to install a rear hubcap. First thing you got to do is pick your style of hubcap. Let's go to the back and see if we can find a truck. Alright, let's go. Alright. Well, it looks like we found one. Peterbilt, Kenworth, and Freightliner will take an 8 inch cap. We got an 8 inch cap here. And we have International will take an 8 and a quarter inch cap. Also, some Volvos and some Max take an 8 and a quarter inch cap as well. If you're unsure, you can come over to the axle housing itself. Now, the easiest way to tell is the nut that's that's holding the axle housing in place itself. This is a 28 millimeter here, obviously it doesn't fit. But a 15 16 which is what this is right here, will fit. And of course that one fits, it'll take an eight inch cap. If it takes an eight and a quarter inch cap, it'll take a 28 millimeter to get the nut off. The other way to tell would be to take a measuring tape and measure across the stud itself. If you don't have a socket, if it's, if it's three quarters across the stud itself, it's going to be an eight and a quarter inch cap. And of course this one is five eight, so it's going to be an eight inch cap. This is where most people make their mistake. I got an eight inch cap, I got a Kenworth truck here. This cap is supposed to fit on this truck. I'm gonna go on and I try to put it on there and it's not going on. My first reaction is to hit it. You don't need, you shouldn't have to hit the cap to put the cap on. When you hit it, you're gonna put a dent in the cap. You know, having a dent in your hub cap's kind of like walking into the locker room and seeing a naked dude. You just want to unsee it as soon as possible. So, what we need to do is we take this off and we got to adjust these axle housing nuts that are around this axle housing here. And what you'll see is you'll see that this nut here has its point, has the point of the nut facing toward the outside of the hub. What we're going to do is going to take this and we're going to turn it so the flat side of this nut is facing the outside of the hub. And it, we might have to turn every single one of these or just one to get the cap to snap on. But the best thing to do is get you some big jumbo wrench like this to turn them axle housing nuts. I'll give it to Junior here and let him do all the work. All right, so now we got these axle housing nuts. I'm going to pick this one here because the point is facing the outside of the hub here. I'm going to take it. I'm just going to turn it just a little bit. Just enough to make the flat side on there. See, now the flat side's facing to the outside of the hub. Let's try to get our cap and try to snap it on there again. All right, I got my hub cap. I'm going to try it on there again. Usually line up the bottom nuts it first and then you can take the top with your hands here and push on it. And that's it. There you go. It's easy to put a hubcap on. You should never have to hit a hubcap to put it on so there should be no dents in any hubcap. And until next time, keep the naked locker room dudes at bay and don't drive an ugly truck. And until next time, keep the naked locker room dudes at bay and don't drive an ugly truck. <laughs> <What>? <laughs>